So let's hand out some midterm grades for the college football teams in the state. And we're going to grade this on a curve, okay? We're going sure. to grade this on a curve because some teams had higher expectations than others. I, I for think, example. I think you'll grade it how you'll grade it, and I'll grade it how I'll grade it. That's fine. I'm going to grade it on a curve. For example, if we had high expectations for you, Houston, for example, right. we're going to grade harsher right. than a team that we had almost no expectations for, like North Texas. So that's where I'm at. We're gonna. I'm gonna grade on a different curve. You're gonna grade on a. I'm gonna grade on a different curve. curve based on the difficulty of the assignments put in front of you so far. Interesting. Yes. I like that. All right, let's start, probably with the team that you're referring to here, the Baylor Bears. Right. The Baylor Bears, to me, have done exactly what we expect them to do, and not a whole lot more. Right. And so I would give them a B minus. B minus based on those those criteria. Yeah. Well, then I guess I got to give them a C. Why? What were you going to give them? Because so far they have turned in every assignment on time, but I they think, haven't passed any tests. That's true. We I, haven't taken any tests. That's true. But, but I they think, haven't passed any. But tests. I think that in their in their assignments that they have had, Baylor yeah. has done well. Right, but I would say under your circumstances, and they should get an A, and I would give them a B. That was what I was thinking would happen here. I think that they are a B minus for now. They've cruised. Right. They've cruised. Right. Why would That's you give them a B minus under your criteria? Because, They've cruised. Because I like to be positive. No, I'm saying you're docking them based on your criteria. But based on your criteria, they should be an A. That's all I'm saying. I still anyway, agree. Just don't whatever. Agree. This is already off the rails. Oh, okay. <laughs> Houston, the Houston Cougars. I'm going to give them a D. Honestly. This is this was a team that we expected to have high hopes and we had high hopes for and for them to pass their biggest test of the year and then stumble in two really manageable games I think is super disappointing. I'm giving them a D. No, they get a B. Wow. Yeah, they the, the one the one big test they've had this year, they killed it. They got 100% on and some dumpy homework assignments they didn't do. Man, they just, just they just mailed it in and it didn't go we well. Very, I'm giving them a B. We just have very different grading strategies. Yeah. I also think it fits into your criteria. If you had high expectations for them and they haven't they haven't met them, well, that's not an A, but a B. Yeah. But they, but I think they have. Fallen they could still so, win ten games. I think they have fallen so far short of my expectations, and maybe this is just me being D disappointed. But <laughs> I think that. Uh, that's where I would go. I would go fine. with a D. I'm fine. very disappointed. Though. I think that's harsh, but that's fine. The North Texas Mean Green. I'm leaning towards B plus A minus. Okay. Relative to their expectations, I think that they have exceeded them. Um, I, I, obviously, there's a couple of games I think that they they wish they had back. The SMU yep. game all of a sudden looks like a game they should have won, but I think they have progressed well. I'm thinking B plus A minus for for North Texas, knowing that C is about meeting expectations, and then we're going from there. So. I'm in the same spot. We go B plus. They have not blown us away, sure. but they have by far exceeded expectations, I think and I think there's more good to come. And I think they've got an outside shot at a bowl. That's yeah. Something. Rice. Ugh. I am extremely tempted to give them an F. <laughs> Very tempted. <laughs> this is that's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna go D minus. I'm nah, gonna I'm give them because they do have a win on their docket. Nah. I'm gonna give them a D minus. They gave up 44 points in that win. That's like they turned the homework in, but none of the answers were right. Like, <laughs> for once, they turned in an assignment, but they just doodled the okay. answers. All like, right. one one question was right. They clearly they filled out their name correctly. Yeah. And maybe the, got the SAT first SAT question. You put on and after name. that, they're like, oh, crap, I'm running out of time. Just D, 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 D. Yeah. So, yeah. you. No, so what F. Are you? F? F. 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 All right. F. SMU. God, these are. They're tough. They're tough they're because tough. I think to. that at. At times, they've looked like an A student. They've been hospitalized a couple times. <laughs> yeah. They've got to work two jobs because their family's bro. Like they're like you know. like they're the thing where like the roommate is like having really hard problems. The odds were stacked against them from the start, exactly. and it has not gone well since then. At times, they've looked like an A student top of their class, and at other times, you've gone, man, how would you even get into this school? Right. You know, um, I'm gonna land somewhere towards the middle. I'm gonna give them a C minus. Okay. I think that they have underachieved just a little bit relative to my early season expectations, but I also think that they're trending upward and that if you ask me in a week, they could be at a B. Okay. So I'm going to say C-. I'm going to be a little kinder, just C, okay. uh, because I do think we had high hopes for them because of who's coaching them, the staff that they have, the recruits that they've gotten, 
but it's still a it's still a steep climb. It is. You I know, agree. The, the situation they inherited was tough. They they couldn't afford any injuries this year. They've had them. See, the TCU Horn Frogs. So let me start off by saying that for me, I thought that they were an outside contender to win the Big Twelve. Right from the beginning. Both of us thought that. Yeah. Yes. So if that's the C, right? If that's the meeting expectations, correct. I think I got to go with a D. I I just like I think that they have underachieved. I think that the offense has not been able to get going uh, consistently. Kenny Hill, I don't think has lived up to the expectations. Uh, the defense has been, I mean, really up and down. Yeah. Um, I would go with a D. I'll go C minus. Okay. C minus. I I can't go D because I don't think they've been an abject failure. That's I just, true. I just don't think they've found a way to put it all together. Okay. Okay. The Texas Longhorns. Ugh. So, on one hand, they have arguably played the toughest schedule in the state, right? They've already played Oklahoma. Uh, they've already played, you know, I guess Notre Dame. I still haven't played some they really played, good teams, They played though. Cal. Yeah. There's that. And it, I think this really depends on where you viewed them from the outset. We were thinking that their best-case scenario was somewhere around nine wins. We were settling on about seven or eight, right? We mm-hmm. were settling on about mm-hmm. seven or eight. Mm-hmm. Right now, I'm looking at about five. I'm going to give them a D plus. It's tough, right? This one's tough because I I think they've underachieved, and I think that they. I think you're right. And I I think I that, think you're right. Yeah. D plus. This is not going to get better. No. Right, like Tech no. is going to be a problem. TCU is going to be a problem. Mm-hmm. Baylor. Baylor is going, going to be, be a, a problem. problem. Mm-hmm. West Virginia. Is yep. going to be a huge problem. This is not a D, D plus. Oklahoma, is Oklahoma nice. State. Oklahoma State's going to be a problem. Every they already beat Oklahoma already State. Beat Oklahoma. Yeah. D plus. They, D plus. Every every game left on their schedule, with the exception of Kansas, yeah. is going to be a problem. Yeah, they've already lost Oklahoma State, so not great. Texas A and M. A. Yeah. I think that I think that even I think that A and M fans. I think they'll agree with us that yeah. even in like if you were if you were fantasy casting and you were right. dream casting out there and you were saying, Oh, okay, after seven games, right, what would be the best possible scenario? I think realistically they'd say seven six and one. Yeah. Because they wouldn't you know, that you would not expect a, a that win would against mean, Alabama. That would be yeah. that would mean beating UCLA, that yeah. would mean beating Mississippi State, Arkansas. That would mean beating Tennessee, Arkansas. That would mean beating Arkansas. This is a, I think, uh, this is this is exemplary work. I think they are they have they have exceeded expectations. Yeah. Um. And and I think that now you look forward. I think there's a reason to believe that they can keep this at an A. They may stumble at some point and drop them back to a B. But I think already, right now, they they've been exemplary. I would go A. I'll go A minus okay. only because and this is nitpicking. You know, you should have killed South Carolina. True. You know, there's a should've there's a South few Carolina. margins here. I think we're we're should've, they've gotten better. Should have buried ago. Tennessee when you had the should have buried Tennessee when you had a chance. Should have finished UCLA off mm. before overtime. Though, though that's my nitpicking. That, that's, that is that's, a win that, is a win is a win. That's admittedly that's nitpicking. I think it's worthy nitpicking, but I do think that you're right. I would say, you know, AA minus were in that in that range. Texas State. <sighs> Like a C, I think they're about where we thought they'd be. We didn't have gr- huge expectations for them. They've, I, I think that there are times where they've looked like ugly. Like for yeah. example, the loss to last week to Louisiana Lafayette. Right. But there's also been times where they've Ohio. looked great with Ohio. So yeah. I would say they're right at about C. They're right about where I thought they'd be. Yeah, I think I think it's hard not to feel like they've been a letdown. It's been a letdown since Ohio, right? Mm-hmm. Like that should, that feels like it's, it's hard to not be tinged by that, mm-hmm. but I'll go with you. I'll go with C. I want to okay. be fair, yeah. right? It's a tough situation. I agree. Uh, like they, I'm they've feeling, had some moments. I'm feeling negative about them, but I think if we were to be yeah. fair, we, from the outset, we did not expect a ton from them. Fair enough. Texas tech. Oh boy. <sighs> D plus C minus. I only say C minus because it's like the point I keep making. Like what? Like the results are so disappointing because you expect more out of them, but at the same time, this is a historically great yeah. offense. Like it's hard. Like it's this is this is you going in the SAT and acing the math exam right. and 
just completely whiffing on the and, on the and rating. like I guess you could say if you split that down the middle, it should be a C. Like you have the greatest offense with the worst defense. But I'm sorry, like you've had time to put mm-hmm. a defense together. You get, you get this should there. not keep happening. You should find a way to win some of these games with a couple stops, like against an Arizona State. Mm-hmm. Uh, no C minus. I'm gonna I'll say go C minus. Okay, C minus. UTEP. I, like I, it's hard not to get colored by the fact that they just beat UTSA, right? right? Like that's hard to it's hard not to it's hard to set that aside and take everything as a whole. This has been a disappointing year, yeah. And we thought that this was going to be a bit. This could be a breakout year for UTEP. I feel like with everything going on, we're kind of missing how disappointing they've been mm-hmm. overall. Yeah. But I mean, boy, I don't know. I go back to the Army game and they just got thrashed. I know. I, that's, I'm thinking D. Yeah, I'm thinking D. Yeah, I think they've be. I think they've it's underachieved. I think they've been they've been bad to, yeah. to that extent. And UTSA, another just completely weird team. I'm gonna go with like a like a C, like I, right in the I, middle. I give them a C plus. I, yeah, I mean they, because it, I feel like the the highs have been pretty impressive. The highs right? have been great. Yeah, the highs have, C plus. Yeah, C plus. I, I can buy that. I think that they've they've exceeded. They've had times where they've exceeded expectations. Right. Everyone's expectations, probably even their own. Yeah. And then there have been times where they fart around and they lose to UTEP at home in five right. overtimes. So there's that. Those are our college midterm grades. What do you think? Let us know. Hashtag DCTF Live.